Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz <laughs> Weekly, and we are back with part two with Alfonso Lugo, bilingual voice actor, singer, composer, and producer. Let's get buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. You have your strategy going. There's people watching that either maybe have a strategy or are thinking about crossing over, thinking about shifting their career. Speaking to especially the bilingual talent, do you have any advice for them? Any do's and don'ts, things to absolutely do, things to absolutely avoid from your... <sighs> well, I think uh, being aware of what's going on out there is very important. For example, I never um, quit the advertising parts in the YouTube channels because we you are... Don't, you don't skip them. I don't want to skip them yeah. because, because I, want to, I want to see what's going on yeah. in every sense like music production and voiceover and in, in both markets yeah. because mm -hmm. I watched like Hispanic um, channels and English sure. channels as well. So you have to be aware of what's going on out there all the time. You know, like this word was super, super um, uh, common like in the past two or three years, millennials. Millennials. <laughs> exactly. We heard millennials everywhere. And that's, there's a reason for that. The reason is because we have to understand them, why they're, they're doing what they're doing, who um, like they believe in, where are they going, you know what I'm saying? Like, and of course you don't do campaigns for millenn millennials only, but right. that's, that's again my point. Like, my right. point is like you have to understand what's the final destination of the product, right. because if you go f for a mil for, for this goes for millennials, then you have to talk them to them differently. Yeah. And I don't want to say like very friendly. You don't, you don't talk to millennials very friendly. <laughs> you talk just very Matter chill. Matter of fact, yeah. Chill. Mm -hmm. Hipstery. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like kind of weird sometimes. Kind of weird! <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, depending on the product too. You know, yeah. like, yeah. like or, or whatever, like at the end of the day, but you have to understand what's going on. So the deuce is like, please, please listen. Listen to what's going on out there. Yeah, you know the, the advertising campaigns. What what the creative teams ha they have to say, they say to you. Listen to them. Try to understand because their mind sometimes they try to go a step ahead. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Probably what they're doing, they tell you to do is not the thing that you would do, but probably they're one step ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they have information you don't have. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. so, and, and it's so hard to, to understand them sometimes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and to translate that in the, right in the second, right, right in the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's very challenging sometimes. But again, if you listen, that's, that would be something super important. Absolutely. Listen to everyone mm -hmm. and listen to what's going on out there in the production wise. Maybe in the session, you can just talk to them. Okay, I heard the other day something that could, you know, help, help us just materialize this mm -hmm. right here here's what like what right. i think could work mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. don't oh gosh i'm still learning a lot of don'ts for example i was just recently in, in a big session national commercial like like some some weeks ago like and i was a little bit over the top like with the pr on in the studio i was talking to this producer and I, we were talking very, very friendly about different subjects. And I think I should stop myself at some point and say, you know what, I'll leave you guys to do your stuff mm -hmm. and I'm gonna just wait mm -hmm. outside. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I couldn't measure that. And uh, yeah. I felt that you feel the energy in the room. Yeah, yeah. At some yeah. point, at some point, I, I'm still learning. Yeah, I'm of still course. learning. So, so I think. <laughs> but as far as if someone's PR. really getting started, is 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 it something you know from uh, you know do they need a demo that is Spanish only a demo that's English only accented non accented what is I, I want to go a little bit more because that's very technical mm 
-hmm. And um, I would say if you can do whatever demo, just do it. Like all the demos, do do the demos. You know what I'm saying? Like you need them. And yeah. renew your demos all the time. You need to do it. I, I'm going to do mine for this, ne this year again, <laughs> a new one. But um, I would say um, the first thing I would say, it's like instead of watching the whole team against you and divided by the glass. I would say like try to get out of the booth first and and put yourself in the same perspective of the whole team here. Let them know that you're here for them. Let them know that you are going to materialize what they have in their minds. Mm -hmm. And and you have to create a, bo a bond yeah. with them. That's a, that's something important. Mm -hmm. Say hello to everyone in the room, engineer, the, like everyone, like it's, it's important. Don't put yourself like you are the hired person. Yeah. Right. Because Below. you're here to yeah. help as well. Yeah. But don't put yourself like I'm the God mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I'm the voice of whatever, how many yeah, yeah, brands. Yeah, you right, have right, to right. never want to do that. We're equals yeah. and we have to go to this same um, direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So help me out here. Yeah. Help me to help yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. How to how can we create this? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I I answered your question. Well, I yeah. think yeah, that well, yeah. well that was good from a maybe a little bit more professional perspective, but what about from a brand new perspective? Brand new perspective. Okay. Uh, so, not so, established. Like, uh, yeah, not established. Just guy out, people out there right now that want to break into the voiceover specifically Spanish because that's their main language. Um so what 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 could be some good steps for them to like break into that Spanish market? At, you know, doing it right. What are some things they need to do? I would say create a strategy to have access to people with experience, like pay coaching. That's right. very important. I thought I didn't I didn't need coaching at some point in my life. That I was super powerful, and when the minute you think that, you're done. Yeah. You always need coaching. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> yeah. You always need coaching. Yeah. So save money to pay your coaching. That's the first thing I would say. Do all the auditions you can. Like whatever they come from. If you yeah. have an agent or if, if they come from a pay to play site or whatever. Yeah. Do all the auditions because that's your gym. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. your gym. That's, that's your yeah. gym. I was doing. Um, I was doing between 10 and 20 auditions a day for a long period of time. And uh, but it was very good. It was very good because you, you, you get into this rhythm that yeah. you, you know what I'm saying, it's part of your day. Yeah. And at some point you do it, you do them very quickly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I spent three, three hours of your day doing that for sure. For sure. Yeah. You know, probably 20 are too much. If, if you are selective with your auditions, then, but I, I would say like audition, audition um, as much as you can, as, mu yeah. as much as you yeah. can, smartly. You have to do it very smart. Yeah. And um, coaching is smart. The demos are very important. And uh, there's no rules. There's no like, if a coach say to you, okay, you have to do this, this, and this, and this, and you think that you can go to the other direction, yeah. just do your own way. Absolutely. There's no rules. I mm -hmm. broke the rules several times. Yeah. I think it's a good segue because you are a really accomplished coach. You've helped a lot of people kind of shift off a plateau or find, um, find a direction, a mm -hmm. focused direction. So... Did you always want to coach? Did you know that that's something you wanted to do? Or how did that kind of, how did you say like, oh, I need, I need to share this or? It, it's, a, it was a natural thing because uh, my father is a PhD in education. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I have it. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, didn't, I didn't coach a lot. Um, yeah. But um, at some point, if you know something, it's good to share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it to yourself. Right. Don't be selfish. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell, like your success is my success. That's yeah. what I feel with the people I'm helping. Yeah. And I get help from them, too. Yeah. yeah. It's a very mutual yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, we're happy that you're, you're with us on OpenCoaches.com. Thank you so much. It's a great opportunity, um, guys. You can find Alfonso there. Um, and, you know, we, we hear, you know, we get feedback from people um, that you've worked with. And, and they always say, oh, there was this 
just this little shift in thinking, this shift in interpretation, and there's something, you know, well, fresh eyes and fresh ears yeah. that um, that really has, has helped a lot of people. Um, I mean, obviously, as a producer, as a talent, you speak fluently to other performers. Do you think that that's true? Or? Yes, but I think uh, it's it's a little bit of the, the business mind because I'm very, um, right now, I'm coaching this... Um, this uh, Argentinian guy living in the United States for more than 20 years, and he's starting his voiceover career. He's more, uh, he's in, I don't know, probably 50s, mm -hmm. in his 50s. Yeah. And he's starting a voiceover career, but he understands the business. And, and I'm, I'm, my, my coaching is very, very like oriented to, to the business of it, how to materialize yeah. what you're investing. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, I have a, I have a met, 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 method. method. Method, of course. Okay. Like, I have a method and uh, it's, it's very concrete, very direct, very, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. have very straight, straight to the point. Straight to the point. It's straight to the point. Not and a lot of fluff, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> but, exactly. But you, but you, <laughs> but you, you need to understand that, for example, the technical part is very important. Like you have yeah. a good microphone, a good preamp, a good yeah. interface, mm -hmm. a good software, and a good knowledge about how to record yourself yeah. and the basics of acoustics and all that stuff. So I, I, I include that in the coaching sessions. Oh, that's good because a lot of people mm -hmm. don't. Do and that. actually, actually, I was inviting Voice Over Atlanta to give a conference about that. Yeah. You know, and uh, and, and very, I put it very simple because sometimes you can solve problems with a mattress or with a, right. you know, just whatever. It's super, super, um, yeah. very, very day by day um, tips yep. that could help to, exactly. to improve your, your technical recording part mm -hmm. but um but my my coaching is very very oriented to the business like how can you make money right away and i'm coaching coaching people in english as well like even with the with my accent <laughs> i try good. to i try to how to sound like uh, <laughs> uh what's his name what's the what's my it's my one of my favorite uh spanish actors um I get I get a lot of the the, the Antonio Banderas. Yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, okay, Antonio, I get a lot of that. You sound like Antonio Banderas. <laughs> I get Italian too. So, I don't know why. So let's talk about your music. Yeah. Uh, you have um, some singles that are out now. Mm -hmm. um, you have more coming. So so beautiful. And obviously, you produce other artists, but you now have your own work that you're creating and releasing yes first of all because i you know i want how can people find it get it watch the videos and so on uh well my youtube channel is one of the channels but uh the what's heart. the name of your youtube channel just alfonso your name? lugo yes just oh, my yeah, name alfonso just lugo. my name and um but definitely you can find my music in every platform like itunes and spotify oh, beautiful everywhere okay. everywhere everywhere and um and even for that i have a strategy Mm -hmm. for, I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm so, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, at this point, um, I released everything independently, uh, on purpose. On mm -hmm. purpose. Of I have I have some connections with some record labels, and we're talking about yeah. the next level. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Uh, nowadays, we're living in this millennial world that you need numbers and likes and stuff, and you yes. know that. Yeah. So I don't have the I, I don't have the numbers still that that I want because I've been spending my entire life in the studio as a producer. Yeah. So being as a producer, yes, you have your fans, you have your followers, you have your people that, that you know what I'm saying? Like, right, but it's different than being the artist. Being the yeah. artist is another thing. Yeah. It's another mm -hmm. thing. So I need to, I need to build my, my, yeah. my uh, they're going well, they're growing yeah. up, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I'm getting playlists in Spotify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm well, getting there. Uh, here's a plug for you because mm. I actually have had the privilege of sitting in your studio yes. Yes. and hearing some of your singles even yeah. before they're fully done. Yes, in totally. fact, one so song good. didn't even have vocals on it and you sang it for me live mm -hmm. in the studio, which was amazing. You liked it? Remember? Yes. And the minute that, that, that it ended, he sang it live. You were like, he, that's a hit. He, I'm like, dude, that is <laughs> such a smash hit. It's a hit. Like, I'm, you, I'm saving that one. You're yeah. saving that one? It's for, not out yet? For the record label, yes. yes. Oh, okay, good, yeah. see? Yeah. Yes. That's, is that part of your... Uh, strategy, your, uh, strategy, Charlie. Strategy, yes. Strategy. Okay. Exactly. He's got strategies all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, go check out Alfonso Lugo on yes. iTunes and everywhere. Spotify, and social media. YouTube, yes. Like him, follow him, yeah, follow listen to his, to his stuff, give him some love. 
Show yes, them some, uh, some Spanish love. Yes. Thank you. So when you think about um, your ultimate goal, your ultimate dream for your career, for your life, what, what does it look like? Uh, it's a big one. Do you want me to share with you? Yes. If you'd like okay, to. Okay, guys. Of course. Of course. Just yeah. remember that you're not just sharing with us. <laughs> <laughs> There's an audience right with, there. With you You're sharing guys, with everybody. With yeah. everyone. Share with us, man. We all yes. share pieces of our dreams with each other, I think. Okay, so um, I consider myself, like, uh, like launching myself as an artist at the age of 39, because I have thir I'm 39, is not because I have the dream of uh, living like touring the world because just I, wa I want, not, it's not that at all. Mm -hmm. I realized at some point that third world countries like Mexico and some other countries in Latin America, we need help. That's another thing that I considered to come to the, to the States for. Somehow I admire some very, very successful Latinos making in the States, like, you know, big directors, González Iñárritu, or like Diego Luna, or some mm -hmm. other big mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. When they open their mouths, everything moves. Everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. in our country. Makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to, cre to, to be there, out there somehow, to just create an impact when I say something. And I don't want to create war. I don't want to put everyone against the government or whatever. I don't want to do that. Actually, I want the opposite. Mm -hmm. I want to un like like to create unity. Yeah. Because well, that will we, 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 we need that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my ultimate goal is going to be to implement a social program that I'm developing with my dad, who's a PhD in education, to help one of the poorest or some of the poorest communities in my country first, and then to see mm -hmm. if we can replicate that in Latin America. That's my ultimate goal. That's why I launched my albums. That's why I'm mm -hmm. doing voiceover. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's part of everything. Yeah. Of course, I, I like to live. I believe you will succeed because that's, I, I, that's just I, what you I, do. I like to live a comfortable life. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's why we're making money. That's why my, my business mind is leading me to some, somewhere. But I, I don't consider myself a selfish person, person at all. Like, like, that's it. I want to mm -hmm. keep the money, the money in the back end, and that's yeah. it. You know, like that would be very. It's pretty shallow life. Shallow, yeah, after exactly. a while, yeah. So, so yeah, what I really want is to help my, um, the, not my, like all the, the all the all the Latin culture somehow, mm -hmm. yeah. even here in in America, because mm -hmm. now everyone is kind of scared because everything is happening. So. I don't know. We have to. We're humans. Yeah. We're breathing the same air. Well, and and as an artist, I mean, it it unifies. It's a it's a it's a common language that we can all speak. Exactly. Music. And so that's a beautiful way to bring people together. Um, what I want, it's change someone's perspective and someone like like little moments in their lives. For example, you find a couple driving in the car fighting having an argument and suddenly my song comes, pops up in the radio mm -hmm. and it's a love song. Mm -hmm. Probably that song could help them to reconsider what they're doing and just to look at each other in a very different yeah. way and you know, that's yeah. what I want. Yeah. That's my ultimate yeah. goal too. I love that. That's really cool, man. It's beautiful. So that's why I do the, what, what I do. And yeah. I love that you're doing it with your father. That's wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my, my and dad. And I've met amazing. your father. <laughs> you, you met my father. Such He's a yeah. great. Yeah. He's having a hard time with English, but if you... Ha if it you doesn't matter. He doesn't need to speak English, man. <laughs> He's a very, very uh, yeah. kind uh, Love is person. a universal yeah. He yes. seems like a sweet, yeah. loving sure. man. He yeah. is. I can see mm -hmm. where you get your, all of your kindness. And, and yeah. Thank you. Uh, and, I, and I have to say, man, um, that, you know, one of the greatest things about you is that you're always very giving from your heart, you know, mm -hmm. um, and you're, 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 you are a kind person. You love to give from every aspect of what you do, even since I met you. Like, remember, like, we know how we've talked before. We've totally. given each other. Right here advice you know mm -hmm. on certain things and, and and stuff like that and it's like you can't do that with just anybody you really really can't yeah. so i want to say just from my own perspective that i'm actually 
uh, uh, very uh, 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 proud and honored to to be your friend, you know, because we haven't known each other for that long. Guys, what are you talking about? You are the most amazing people <laughs> helping people on, on earth. Like, guys, <laughs> Chuck and I, we spend some time in the kitchen, <laughs> the kitchen. talking about my personal life. He's the best <laughs> life coach ever. He is. Are you, you are. Kidding me? He you're, is good. Where you're saying to me, totally, I'm a mirror. Man. Like, yeah. I'm so thankful to have you in my life. And you too. Like, you're so kind. You help me through a lot. Yeah, you're seriously, a good communicator. He's seriously. Good communicator. Like, what you're saying to me, it's you. <laughs> it's both. It's, it's mutual you. admiration. And you know what? Yes. We are honored to have you as an we American citizen, oh, citizen in this state. Gosh, yes. thank you so much. Yes. No, thank you for all your help. We, we are everybody. very... In every, in every sense. I always thank like, you. you know, I think people's life paths cross at the time for the reasons they're supposed to, so... Pick a card, any card. <sighs> okay. And... Uh, Read it in Spanish and then in English. Okay. ¿Qué es más importante, inteligencia o sentido común? Which, which is more important, intelligence or common sense? Mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. I, both are important. They, they are. They are. They go hand in hand almost, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because you have to be very intelligent to solve a hard problem yeah. too, you know? Yeah. But common sense, I think, will lead you. I you think are so. the son of I was, I was, I was You are the son of yeah. a father with a PhD in education, so. So. That is important too. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. They both give you different kinds of freedom, I think. I think so, too. I have to say, yeah. Alfonso Lugo, ladies That's and gentlemen. One. Dude, it's been such a pleasure to have Thank you on you so Zio Buzz Weekly. Thank yes. you so much. We've wanted this moment to happen for a while now, so yeah. we're happy to be able to do it. Um, I know that you've shared some you. stuff from your heart with you guys, and I'm telling you right now, if you are in that Spanish community, or even the English community, yes, and English you want to book more, and you really want to get that balance between business and voiceover, and the actual mm -hmm. business of voiceover, reach out to Alfonso, opencoaches.com, you will not regret it. Thank you so much, and I was looking for this moment since forever, you know, it was my dream. So, oh, being here sweet. today, I was Thank a little bit mom. nervous, I gotta say. Oh, wow. But nervous, nervous not because I, I couldn't handle, nervous because I was anxious for this moment That's for a long cool. time. Nice. So I want you, guys, you. you have no idea. Well, you do, because you are all over. Like, you know everything about the voiceover business. You are very important in our community. Thank you for all the labor you're doing. Thank you for the hard work. Thank you for your hearts. You're amazing. Thank you for this space, this beautiful space that you're putting for, you know, yeah. to grow. Thank you. Thank you. All of us. So thank, thank you, you for, for what you're doing. Thank you for having me here. And thank you for what you are going to do in the next. Big uh, stuff coming. Thank exactly. you. Well, the gratitude goes both ways. Oh Absolutely. My God. Thank you so much. much. Thank you for so much. Sure. You thank got you. it. And, and guys, thank you so much for listening. Seriously. You can make it if you believe in yourselves. Absolutely. Alfonso Lugo! We will see you guys next time. My name is Alfonso Lugo, and I just got bust with Chuck and Stacy. Believe in yourself is going to take you wherever you want. Creer en ti es crecer en ti. Well, that concludes our two-part episode with the awesome and very good friend and loving and giving. Alfonso Lugo. So great. Absolutely. And man, listen, I know that we were giving you a bunch of love and stuff there at the end. It was like yeah. a love fest. But I got to tell you, it, it's not every day that you get to meet somebody like, like Alfonso. And I have to say that if you are out there and you're cooking it or want to be cooking it this year, make this the best year ever. And if you're in this, that Spanish community, yeah. coach with him on opencoaches.com. You will not be sorry. No, you won't. Make sure to leave us your comments below as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time for a little buzz. buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzz with us. Neo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosthatrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.